Hello everyone, I'm the Viking General and this short video is about the Tokugawa clan. Uh, let's begin. The Tokugawa clan started a campaign situated near central Japan as a vassal of the Imagawa. Both the Imagawa and the Tokugawa are at war with the Oda clan. The Tokugawa started with the Mikawa province, which has average soil quality and the horse specialty. While this is a decent province to start with, it's important to expand to richer provinces. The main benefit of the horse specialty is the access to the warhorse resource, but you can also develop Mikawa in a cavalry recruiting province. The extra recruitment slot from Mikawa being your capital will definitely help in that regard. The Tokugawa, like all playable clans, have a few unique bonuses and units. They have a plus 2% to success chance for all Matsuke actions and a plus 5 bonus to diplomatic relations. While these bonuses do help a bit, it's mostly unnoticeable. Furthermore, they are also supposed to be able to recruit superior Kishin Ninja, but due to a bug in the game, they are actually inferior. The Tokugawa also have a unique unit called the Tokugawa Mounted Gunners. While they are a pretty good unit, it requires the gunsmith building, which generally isn't reached during a normal campaign. So how to thrive as the Tokugawa? My first recommendation is that you should always conquer the Owari province to the north. It has very fertile lands, so it's a perfect province to house your starting Matsuke. On top of that, taking out the Oda clan, which have superior Ashigaru units, is certainly a big boon. After taking Owari, you need to decide how you want to deal with the Imagawa. You could try to incite revolts and sabotage their buildings to weaken them and leave them vulnerable to conquest from other clans. As soon as their last province falls, you will be free. Or you could take the direct route and simply attack them head on. Be prepared that this will make diplomatic deals very difficult with other clans for the next 20 to 30 turns, as well as losing honor. But stabbing them in the back makes the conquest of the Imagawa clan pretty easy. Finally, you could decide to leave the Imagawa B and use them to safeguard your borders. If you manage to stay their vessel and reach Realm Divide, they will declare on you, however. It will be up to you to decide how and when to take out the Imagawa. In conclusion, the Tokugawa clan is a pretty difficult clan to play, especially as a newer Shogun 2 player. While the central location has potential for many resources, it also has the potential for a lot of enemies. Since they start out as a vassal, expansion is either limited or they have to betray their overlord. Coupled with the fact that they have no real game-changing clan bonuses, it is certainly one of the most challenging clans to play in Shogun 2. Thank you for watching.